Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install resource packs in Minecraft 1.15.1. Now resource packs and texture packs are the exact same thing, but I'm just calling them resource packs in this video to uh, just make things easier and help you all understand what I'm talking about, but they are the exact same thing, so keep that in mind. However, we're going to be going over every single step of getting resource packs in Minecraft 1.15.1, even downloading them and giving you 15 awesome options for resource packs. First and foremost, though, we do have a smart spawn which is Apex Minecraft hosting. If you're looking for an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to just love and enjoy, you can check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash Apex to get one. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and Apex Minecraft hosting offers incredible DDoS protection on a 24-hour server, meaning it's up all the time. Whenever you want the server to be live, it can be live. It is hosted on their own hardware, meaning you don't have to worry about how good your computer is. If you can join a server like Breakdowncraft.com or Hypixel, you can join an Apex Minecraft hosting server. On top of that, they give you tons of customization with one-click installation of so many different mod packs, paper, spigot, all that stuff, so you can run plugins on your server. You can even run your own mods in your server using a Forge server. So nevertheless, it is all possible with Apex Minecraft hosting. It truly is the best place to host a Minecraft server for you and your friends, or even build yourself an awesome community on Minecraft. So go check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. Now, the first thing we want to do is come to this link in the description down below. It's the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is our list of 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.15 and 1.15.1. Now, these aren't updated, and some of them are 1.14.4. That's fine. They're still going to work, and I'm going to show you exactly how they would work and how to do that in this tutorial but most of these are native to Minecraft 1.15.1. However, some of them are just so good we don't want to like pass them up and not include them even though they're just one update behind. If they fall two updates behind, we'll definitely remove them. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and first and foremost, we're going to get Spax Pure BD Craft. So when you're on this page, just look and see which one you like. All these are actually pictures of the resource packs, but we're going to go ahead and download Spax Pure BD Craft here. It's going to take us off the Spax download page where we need to scroll down. Now, I have already accepted their terms of service, but you will need to accept their terms of service to basically get this to appear here, right? So you'll scroll down, you'll see this download, and then it'll say accept terms of service. You have to click the red like sort of X there, and then it will go ahead and enable. Now, we want to download this for Minecraft 1.15. So once you're here, you can select whichever version you want. I'm going to select the probably 64 because that's kind of the happy medium. And then you want to go ahead and click on download 64x here. You can download with an ad here and it's going to take us off to add focus where we want to go ahead and wait a few seconds. Don't click anything on this page. Your download is not ready. It's lying to you. No, it's not. Just wait until the red skip button appears in the top right. After about six seconds, you'll see this red skip button up here in the top right. Go ahead and click on that red skip button and it will take you off to download your resource pack. Now, again, don't click anything on that page, just hit the red skip button to be taken here. Now you'll see Pure BD Craft downloads in the bottom left. We're gonna download two more texture packs, the first of which being Jolly Craft. If we scroll down here, right here is Jolly Craft. This is a really, really cool texture pack. That's kind of a mix between Doku Craft and Pure BD Craft, but nevertheless, it is still running Minecraft 1.14.4. They haven't updated it just yet. They're going to, but they haven't just yet. So let's go ahead and click on the download texture pack button there. And when we do that, it will go ahead and make us watch a short video from their sponsors, but the download will begin in the bottom left. As we can see, Jollycraft is there. Now there's one more resource pack I wanna download, and that is of course, Faithful. Faithful is an old tried and true resource pack, and it's actually one of our favorites here, and it's true, I use it all the time. And once you're here, just click on that green download button under Faithful. That will take you off to their website, where you wanna click on Faithful. 1.15 and then once you're here you can go ahead and scroll down and click on that download button right down here at the bottom that black download button at the bottom and then we'll go ahead and download faithful in the bottom left now if we minimize our browser we have three things we have pure bd craft we have jolly jolly craft and we have faithful here on our desktop faithful is not really called faithful though so i'm going to rename that just so we know that that is that is faithful because yeah there we go so now we have all these on our desktop now at this point we can go ahead and get these installed but before we do if these on our new desktop where where are they? They're in your downloads folder. To do that, click on the little windows icon see in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And when you click on that, go ahead and type in downloads. You'll have this downloads file folder in windows. Click on that and in here you'll find faithful, Jollycraft, and 
pure BD craft or any of the other resource packs you install. This works the same way for all resource packs, even if it's not in our list, the process is going to be the exact same no matter where you got your resource pack from. So just keep that in mind. No reason to make it overly complicated. Let's go ahead and get these installed. So what we want to do is go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15.1. So if we go ahead and do that, we're just going to do our latest release 1.15.1 and click play. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15.1 with, you know, nothing installed. It's going to be, it's going to be vanilla. It's going to be Minecraft 1.15.1 with nothing in it. I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and uninstall some resource packs though that I forgot I had installed. Let me do a quick jump cut after we're on the Minecraft main menu here. That way you know there's not any trickery or anything. There we go. Minecraft main menu's loaded up. Let me uninstall these. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove Faithful as well. As you can see, Faithful's installed there. So let's go ahead and remove that real quick. And there we go. I'm going to delete those and then we'll be good. There we go. After a quick jump cut, all of those resource packs are removed. And on our desktop, we do have Pure BD Craft, Jolly Craft, and faithful. Let's go ahead and get them installed. To do that, click on options here. Then you want to click on the resource packs tab, and then you want to click on the open resource pack folder down here in the bottom left. When you click on that, it's going to open up what else but your resource pack folder. Then you want to take Pure BD Craft, Jolly Craft, and Faithful, and then just drag and drop those into your resource packs folder. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, they're nowhere to be seen. That's because we need to go ahead and click done, and then click on the resource packs button again to make all of these appear. Now, Faithful and Pure BD Craft, they're compatible with 1.15. It's as easy as just clicking this little play button sort of arrow on the available resource packs tab to click them over into selected. So if we click that over and click done, guess what? Faithful is going to install and you'll see the menu button's got a bit softer there and things like that. Now if we come back over here and install Pure BD Craft, to uninstall Faithful, by the way, you just click on this little arrow, moves it back over into available, and then we can click the arrow to move over Pure BD Craft. Go ahead and click done. It's going to reload Pure BD Craft. And because it's a 1.15 resource pack, it just works. As you can see, Pure BD Craft is definitely installed. However, go back to options, resource packs. What about Jolly Craft, right? Jolly Craft is made for an older Minecraft version. It says it's incompatible. You see, you, you, ho you hover over Jolly Craft. It says it's incompatible. What do you do? Well, you just click on that little check mark. Did you see that? So if you click on that little green check mark, you see that? Click on that little green check mark. It's going to warn you. Are you sure you want to roll this resource pack? This resource pack was made for an older version of Minecraft and may no longer work. It's going to work because 1.14.4 resource packs will work in Minecraft 1.15 as long as you know you don't want any 1.15 textures. Things like bees and stuff like that, that's not going to have any textures. All right, it's going to have just the default Minecraft textures. It's not going to have any changed textures. So we're going to go ahead and say, yes, we're sure we want to continue and put Jollycraft into that selected resource packs section. Then we want to go ahead and click done here. And it will reload, right? And there we go. Jollycraft is installed. Look at that. So let's go ahead and jump into Minecraft here. We're going to jump to our 1.15 no mods world here, except I need to update it to Minecraft 1.15.1, but that's not a problem. But nonetheless, we're loading right on in here, and um, I died. But nonetheless, you will see that uh, Jollycraft is definitely installed. However, if we go ahead and go into Creative, we will be able to see if we spawn in some bees that these won't have any textures, right? Spawn them in, that's just the default vanilla B texture there, right? However, what's interesting, so we go into options, go into resource packs, and let's say we want pure B D crafts B texture. To do that, you can go ahead and click the play button over here, and then you see this arrow on pure B D craft? If we move pure B D craft below Jolly Craft and click done, it will take the B texture, right? And it will change it, see? Boom, there we go, the B texture is changed. Everything else is still Jollycraft, except the B texture is now changed. Any other 1.15 blocks that Jollycraft doesn't have will be the same as Pure BD Craft now, right? Because of that. Same thing. If you want to change these to Faithful, we can do that. Click on Options, Resource Packs, move Faithful over, move it down below Jollycraft, and click Done. And any textures that Jollycraft doesn't have from Minecraft 1.15 will now be from Faithful. As you can see, those have now changed, and they're basically near vanilla because that's what Faithful is all about. But yeah. So yeah, there you have it. That is how you can do that. You can switch these around all you want. If you want to make Pure BD Craft your main texture, you can go ahead and do that. Remove those. Pure BD Craft is your main texture. Click done. It's going to reload everything. And there we go. Now everything looks like Pure BD Craft. So pretty cool, pretty simple, and just overall a really, really cool 
way to install resource packs. And that's basically everything you need to know about installing resource packs from installing older resource pack versions to basically how to stack them and make sure that all of your textures are changed even if you're using an older resource pack from 1.14.4. It is also worth mentioning that texture packs from say 1.13.2 and 1.12.2 are going to be much less compatible and might actually not work. But I've tested over 15 different resource packs now, or actually over probably closer to 30 different resource packs in Minecraft 1.15.1 from the previous, you know, generation of uh, resource packs there from 1.14.4, and every single one of them has worked. So I'm very confident that 1.14.4 resource packs will work in 1.15. You just won't have any 1.15 textures updated or changed. They'll just be default. So yeah, there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have grief protected survival with Two incredible survival servers. Medieval Survival has over 30 quests. Aquatic Survival, or 30 custom quests, I should say. You know, six different realms. It's absolutely amazing. And Aquatic Survival has a slash shop-based economy. Not to mention on both servers, you can slash RTP, survive, mine, do anything you want to do. In a normal survival world, you can do it on our survival servers. We've also got a custom Skyblock server with OP enchants, custom islands, custom crates. Everything is absolutely custom, and you will absolutely love it, as well as 1.8 PvP. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Can't wait to see you online. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.